Larry is a lot more uh, refined. This song has changed a lot in the, over the years. So, for example, when they first started playing this song in the 80s, uh, the beat was very basic. Uh, it was just a basic, uh, let's see. When it was played in the Joshua Tree Tour, when it first was played, he played something like this. Okay. Uh, then in 89, he switched over to this. Then the first one, obviously, you're just going uh, one, two, uh, so this would be one, two, one, two, two, so two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two. And then uh, he switched over to what I prefer, which is the two, one, two, two. Uh, one, two, sorry, sorry, it's, uh, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, two. Uh, and then another thing that I've noticed out of all the times I've listened to this song, I've listened to this, I've probably listened to a, a thousand different versions of this song, is, uh, it's, it, at least to my ears and what I do when I'm playing this song, is I'm rim-shotting my accents. So listen to it not rim shotted. The accents can it can tend some of the offbeated accents can tend to get lost in the in the constant of the uh, of the roll. Um, so I, I noticed that when he the reason his don't do that is because he's rim shotting. So like on Slain Castle, right? Uh, just pretend this is a crash. I'm not sitting in an actual drum kit. So on Slain Castle, he'll go. So, again, if you want to do the 80s, the 87 beat, it's. And then if you want to do the other one, it's... Anyways, leave me a comment if you uh, disagree or if you have uh, any questions. Um, so I guess not a lot of people know that about me. Uh, I actually started this whole thing on drums. I was a drummer before I was a guitar player. Um, so yeah, if you got any questions on U2 drums, U2 guitar, hit me up. Um, uh, I would love to answer your questions.